We return to the second Alone in the Dark, and we might remember how things went in Infogrames' second installment, taking place in Hell's Kitchen, California, where a small child, Grace Saunders, has been kidnapped by pirates or like a witch, something like that. And we shot up a whole bunch of dudes and then fell in a cave and lost all of our weapons. Uh, just rolled right out of those pockets, and then we fell over, we, like, just ran off a cliff. That's how it ended last time. I believe this is where we saved. We were done with hedges, and we're continuing on with Alone in the Dark. Here we are. Uh, I believe that is an item up here. We should go get that. Nickel, yes. Okay. So we have a nickel. A blown-up paper bag. A crank. A page from a newspaper, a flask, a torn notebook, a flask, a book, a flask, photo of the statue, a flask, as Carnby will never... He, he can't carry enough liquor on him. All right, this is where we died, so we're just gonna, you know, be a bit more careful. Uh, back, you know, there are no ledges. There are no ledges. One step at a time. Okay, I think that's the guy who died at the beginning. It's Stryker. They killed him. I'll make them pay for that. Is he dead? Can we talk to him? I don't suppose like I can wake him up with this. I'm not here for fun, you know. It would be funny if he was asleep and I could wake him up with the bag. I don't. I guess I can't do that. Oh, he can- can he fight with the bag in his hand? It appears that he can. We found a torn notebook. And a pipe cleaner. We also have another piece of a torn notebook. Okay, we- we, we assembled them. We just put the pieces next to each other, I guess. And put we just made a we made a fixed notebook. Did I pass by? There it is, detective's note. Okay, what does it say? Carnby. If you read this, it means I am dead. The Saunders child was kidnapped by One-Eyed Jack, despite what the newspaper claimed. That man is a monster, obsessed with gambling and death. Hell's Kitchen is full of secret passages. I am sure that for one of them, the solution is in the cards. Remember our poker games. I can also tell you that the gang makes whiskey in the cellar, and transports it by boat at high tide from a cave. Yeah? From a cave? In the cliff? I guess we're not finishing that sentence. Or, or this part either? Okay. Carnby... You must rid the world of that filth and save the girl, if you can. It's time for the slave to become stronger than the master. What, what slave are we talking about? Also, what does he have? No, okay, I don't actually need to listen to that again. But c does he actually have to talk in code when he's saying, Hey, remember our poker games? I don't know if that's needed. I don't know if that's necessary. All right, well, I guess... Let's see, can I push his body? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Rest in peace, my friend. Was that a smart idea? I mean, probably. I don't see why I don't see anything that could go wrong. <laughs> I don't see anything. So considering the game said that was a smart idea, what was asked me that? And considering how brutal these games tend to be, that's like the game's way of saying, hey, you know, you just fucked yourself, right? You understand that? I mean, 
Then, look, he did, our friend deserves a burial. <laughs> Push the door. It's closed. It sure is. Uh, can I use a pipe cleaner? I'm not actually sure what he was doing with that. Well, whatever it is, it's not it's not doing this. A crank? No, there's no place to put a crank. What use is a crank here? You don't have any other tools. Well, it is a bit of a problem because this door is the only place to go. Unless, you know, Stryker maybe had a key on him, but... I mean, we picked up items that were next to him. But maybe he had something actually on his physical body. Maybe. I also like how that waterfall in the upper right kind of looks like it's coming from a smiling mouth. Just like a smirking face. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. I got you. You're playing Alone in the Dark, too. Okay. They killed him. I'll make them pay. Let me, like, get around him. No. No? Oh, I can. I can. Well, not really, I guess. Not exactly. Take. No, not that. Hold on. Nope. Take. Use. Okay, notebooks in one piece. Okay, now before we do anything, let's just save the game. I'll make him pay for it. That's how. This is how Karin B grieves. Can I kick his body? <gasps> I cannot pummel his body. I still feel we should be able to wake him up with this bag. I'm not here for fun, he says. He is not. A absolutely no fun allowed. It will come in useful elsewhere. That's interesting he says that. Hold on. Interesting he likes he says that when I'm standing over there. When I stood over here and used the pipe cleaner, he like had a little animation. So he is doing something there is an action that he is doing when we're standing next to the door with the pipe cleaner. It's not, li not really saying anything about it. I don't think you can pick a lock with a nickel. What use is a nickel here? That is true. I don't know. And we can't, like... Uh, combine items together. When I did it with the detective's notebook, it just automatically combined. It, um, it didn't give me the option of combining it with something else. I just used it, and then it combined. I'm not here for fun, he says. There's no place to use a crank. What use is a crank here? Page from a newspaper. Oh, he's doing something with it. Did he slide it under the door? Ah, I see. It was lucky for him that they put that key there. That they left the key in the lock. Music Man's packed. Did, did I already read that? 
by this pact signed by me, Sean O'Leary, called Music Man, and Elizabeth Jarrett, Arm of the Evil Powers, I'm granted immortality. This pact is renewable every 100 years. In return, I swear fidelity and obedience to my masters. Should this document be destroyed in my presence, or if I come to die, the galleon will shelter me for two days. Signed off the coast of Haiti on the 25th of December in the year of 1724. All right. Uh, okay, maybe we should remember that if we encounter the music man. We have his pact. I guess we won't push, push his corpse into the water. I guess we won't. Unless... Can I, like, get on the other side and then push him immediately? No, he just, he goes that way. Uh, I'm trying to push him the other way. No. I wanted to push him into the door and just like push him around for the rest of the game. No, it's not letting us do that. We can only we can only push him the one way. But we had to find out, didn't we? Yes, we did. Is that a light switch? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Looks like you can kind of see something at the bottom of that. Well, maybe that's not the way to do it. All right, that's high up over the over the seal over the room. That one barrel. Oh, hey, it's a guy. Which guy is this? Oh! Well, that's what that lever does. Oh, okay, hey, that's what this room is. It's the room where we get carried away and then thrown off of the cliff. Off we go. Sploosh. Well, can I do this and like get out of the way or would he got not get hit by that? What if we get his attention? <laughs> okay, he's got a gun. No, no, that just that's just instant. I don't think there, I don't think there's any getting out of the way of that. It doesn't feel like you can get out of the way of that. Unless I was standing enough to the side that it worked. Without me like no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, like, yeah. It is possible I'm standing to the left. He has to be going around the... That guy has to be going around the right. Morning, sir. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Hold on. Sir, I, I'm trying to kill you. If you would... If you would please let... Nope. Oh, I've got fight on. I've got fight turned on. Okay. Nope. That just went right between us. 
He uh, he was he planted his feet and was shooting. That was that was not working. Let's go to push. Morning, sir. No. Maybe if I was able to do it a little earlier as he's starting to walk, he would be in the path of it. I, you know, it's something like, something like this. I'm not sure if this is right just because of how tight the timing seems to be. I feel like it could work, but I don't know if it's really Morning, what you're supposed to be doing here. <laughs> a little early. Actually, that, I did it before I needed to do it. Before I did. Hi, guy. Ah, uh, he's... Uh, no, no, no. A little late, a little late, a little late. Hey, you. <laughs> That's, that's not going to do it. Could not get into position. Back that thing up, Carnby. Morning, sir. There it is. Had to... What a fall. Just had to get it just right. Anything here? A manuscript. A flask. A riot gun. There's something on this barrel? Maybe not. There's a hole in the clock! You know, we're gonna save. Let's read this manuscript. Life and times of the freebooters and buccaneers. Tell me about freebooting. My iron fist will lead you till it freezes in hell. Cheers rang out at this promise. Hanging by the foot from a spar, the one-armed man begged for mercy. One-eyed Jack looked up at him with his good eye and said... May the sun cure your flesh and tan your stinking hide, you poxy cur! Black Hat stood ready. The shark's fin glided close by. No, not that! yelped the one armed sea dog. Black Hat threw his hat and it cut the rope. The one armed man did not swim long. For the captain, roared the shipmates. Caramba, that seems a little harsh, muttered Luis. The new cook, T-Bone, glared. Maybe you want to swim too, eh? He growled. No, senor, I beg you. I say nothing. Then shut your gob and do as you're told. Three knocks if you want to enter the captain's cabin. And forget one arm. His cooking was only fit for swine. Okay, <clears throat> so three knocks to enter the captain's cabin. Also, apparently Black Hat has a, like a hat that can has like a blade on it. You can throw his hat and it cuts things, I guess. Gotta, gotta be careful about that. So we also have this riot gun. It only has one, one shell, I guess. All right, so we got a, got a hole in this in this clock, and we got a crank. I'm not standing right. Got to stand just right. What 
What use is a crank here? No? Okay. <clears throat> that seemed like a like an ideal place for a crank to go. I guess not. A nickel? What use is a nickel here? But then he, he also says I'm not standing right. If we not if we're not using the crank, what we're, what would it matter where he's standing? I don't think there's anything else that would go into a hole. So is it the crank? It's just I need to be standing exactly right? I'm not standing right. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, there was something behind that. I assume if I walk through that, I'm gonna die. But we have to find out. We had to know. A book! I love books. I really should read more. I used to read a lot more than I do today. Well, I mean, obviously I'm getting my fill of literature in the textbooks of Alone in the Dark. Crew muster for the three master flying Dutchmen. Turn to free booting December 25 of the year of our Lord 1724. Tell me about the fine crew of the flying Dutchmen. My music is a requiem. Sean O'Leary from Dublin dreamed of becoming a harpsichordist, but was hounded from the country after throwing three guests through a window for having suggested that his Vivaldi was perhaps slightly fast. He joined the Third Highlanders and lost a hand at the Siege of Gibraltar. He deserted and studied the accordion under Sancho Fernandez, the mad armorer. Hiding out in the Leeward Islands, he did many lowly jobs. He was almost lynched during the Red Night and sought refuge with One-Eyed Jack. He became one of his lieutenants after the Chow Bang Massacre. October 1712. Musician. Well, we, we read about the music man and his pact of immortality. Turns out he can't even play the piano anymore because he lost a hand. How sad. Guess nothing there. Elevator? Ooh, cartridges for a riot gun. Here's our gun. And uh, maybe we might have to use it. How many cartridges do we have, by the way? Oh, okay, we're going in the elevator. Never mind. It's... Is that like a, an accordion gun? I think that's what that is. So I'm, I, I'm wondering if this... if I don't know which one this is, but if this is the music man, does that mean he's immortal unless I burn his contract? I don't know if that is him. Oh, we can just open that door. It's fine. Now he's coming. He coming. A, a battle door? Carnby just running around the room, frantically grabbing at anything that he finds. Can he follow me up here? I mean, probably not. We're on a different floor. Okay. I wonder what I'll do with that. How's my health? 29. I don't know if... I didn't actually look at my health before that. I don't... Oh. Uh... Help! Help me! 
Well, I mean, they're running away. That's the cook. Don't know if I should have shot the cook before the cook yelled. Is anyone coming to help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming to help. Some someone came to help. There was considerable help on the way. All right. Um, let's just try using the gun on Harpsichord Man, on Accordion Man, and see if it's possible to kill him. By the way, 29 health. Okay. So I guess I only had enough for one reload. Not not a whole lot of ammo here. And he's still alive. So maybe we'll just run past him. And we, we get this over here. All right, this door is open. Oh, yep. morning, sir, indeed. Oh, uh, here's the room with cards. There's so, so much gunfire happening in here. I feel awful. It has to, it must be do all the gunfire. All of the bullets that are in me right now. Maybe don't go in that room. We're learning so much. Uh, the chef already chef already saw Wow you think a riot gun would be I don't know would have a little, a little more punch than that. Let's, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Can I, like, hide behind the door? Doesn't seem so. Help! Help me! No, uh, then the chef will call for help. All right? Looks like... Okay, it looks like that the screen is not focusing on the door that's here. So, uh, it, it does say it's closed. Oh. 
Carnby's giving him the old one-two. I mean, this guy's also got the one-two. He's got two guns. He's holding guns akimbo. And even though I do have a riot gun with some ammo, I mean, this, this seems to be more effective at the moment. I'm really questioning this riot gun I have. What's going on with that carpet? I can't really focus on it now. I assume this guy has... To okay, yep. He went down, he went down. My health? I did lose some health. I did lose some health. Did he drop anything? Uh, it doesn't seem like he dropped anything. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Can I look at... Oh, actually, I'm going through this door. Oh, no. Can I look at this? What's happening with this carpet right here? Can I examine it? It doesn't really look like it. I can't push it either. What an ominous glowing red eye on that painting. In a bathroom. Well, maybe, maybe there's some, be something later. Hello. How we doing? <coughs> Whoop, nope. Gotta gotta go to fight. <coughs> yeah, this guy's pretty fast with his gun. Oh. Maybe it, no, he got out of the corner. Let me, uh, let me drink some, get, maybe let me get liquored up. Sir, right. Work the body rock. sword stick and also we as we saw last time there is a derringer right here okay 
sword stick. So is this a weapon? Yeah. It appears that it is. Yeah, I should probably save. We do have an unusual perspective when we're looking at it from here. Clearly they want us to do something with it. can see there's something on the other side of that. I don't think... Yeah, I can't get on that side of it, so I can't push it out of the way, I guess. Maybe I have to do whatever is needed here to open that up. Oh, is that a weapon? I didn't, it did not even occur to me that this was like a melee weapon. It's like a paddle. It's a little paddle. Like, maybe it's a little better than fists. Yeah, I got nothing left in my riot gun. What use is a nickel here? I'm not here for fun. Don't, don't think I have any items that... I'm not even really sure what this is. Like, I'm looking at this box. It's hard for me to grasp what it is I'm looking at over here. It does look like there's, like, I don't know, a holder? Like, two holders on the sides? What would go in the holders? Money? What use is a nickel here? Alright, we'll keep that in mind. See if we can find something that goes in whatever that box is. That's a, that's a pretty good shot of Carnby. Yeah, you always like it when you can get a good close-up of of the characters in these games. Though, I mean, I think what we can all agree that he does not look nearly as good clean-shaven. He needs to grow out that walrus mustache. All right, which of these things is going to kill me? That mask can, like, spit spears at me or something. Oh. Headbutt it before I can do that. Uh-huh. Alright, those are some arms. With swords. Can't, I don't know what it is they're guarding. I have a feeling I wouldn't... I don't know if I'd win in a duel with them. Well, let's take a look around first. This is an oddly tall fireplace. They usually don't... They're usually not that tall. Ooh, chemicals. All right, we have some, like, forbidden books over here. Hmm. 
We have what appears to be the cover of the Necronomicon framed up here. Personal bathroom for when you know you're doing your witchcraft. You know you don't want to go all the way out into the hallway. No bathroom monsters so far though. Hmm. All right. Only thing of note really seems to be. This corner over here with the sword. Okay, they can, they can just do that off screen. All right. Well, I doubt I can just like duel them. I mean, we can try. Oh, well, no, it looks like they're bleeding. They're bleeding green. Maybe we can duel them. Yeah, we can. Hold on. I need my liquid courage to finish this duel. Yeah, it's better. Now, what were they guarding? Parchment. All right. What's this parchment about? No voice. All right. K seeks the throne. Wear her. D in the center of doorway to space. The royal gambit. E this Gaelic poem. Crowley to defeat N who fed the devil. Lid. Well, we know about Crowley. I, I'm going to assume this is a piece. We need to find more pieces. Alright, that was the end of this hallway. Which is a bit of a problem. Because it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go up here, really. Which means we would be going downstairs. And downstairs is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I did, I did not make it past all that. All right. Huh. What could we do about that? I mean, considering there are so many enemies, it really doesn't seem like I'm supposed to go down there. But then again, considering this game, I honestly can't tell. Like, maybe I'm just supposed to fight my way through it. It's hard to even say. Or... Maybe I already got screwed my- I already screwed myself because the- the chef saw me and raised the alarm and maybe it's unwinnable if that happens? Cause that's something this game would do. Sure, why not? Why wouldn't this game do that? Is there anything- I mean, a, a derringer with ten bullets is probably not gonna do it. A sword stick? The sword stick's pretty good, but with that many dudes with guns, no. The riot gun has been surprised. I don't have any ammo for it anymore, but it's been surprisingly ineffective. Like, it doesn't seem to do much. Like, maybe these dudes just have a lot of health. But uh, it's not doing the job like that Tommy gun did at the beginning. And I didn't. I did not notice anything else around 
this room. It didn't seem like there was anything else I could interact with. Even though, I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in this room. Like, nothing's really happening as I look around. There's like a logo on the thing I'm standing on. Kind of looks like the cane I'm holding. I don't know if that means I should... If there's anything I could do with it. Can I hit it with this thing? I mean, I can put it down. Doesn't seem like anything happened when I did that, though. seem like there's anything in the bathroom. It doesn't seem like there's any I don't it doesn't seem like I can do something with this. these. I'm surprised the artwork or the mask didn't kill me. <clears throat> there are other rooms, like this. There was a guy here. We killed him. We got a couple of items. There's a pool table. There's also something that's very conspicuous right here. But I, I don't know what I should be doing with, with this. Feels like that there is an item I'm gonna need for for whatever this is. And I would guess that if I do it, then this probably is gonna open up over here. Oh, hold on, I didn't get this. I guess as I was rubbing my... Oh, yeah, this is new. As I was rubbing myself across the wall, I guess I didn't rub myself hard enough. It's a problem we all face. You all, you wonder, am I actually rubbing myself hard enough? I can, and you think, you know, I could probably stand to rub a little harder. All right. Piece of parchment, let's combine it. Parchment's in one piece. Let's read it. Chess and magic. If the White Queen seeks the throne, the king must empower her. May the amulet laid in the center of the sign open the doorway to space. That is the key to the royal gambit. Translator's note. This Gaelic poem might have helped Crowley to defeat Tartakover, the man who fed the devil in the box with gold. Mm-hmm. Well... We haven't gotten, like, a chess-based puzzle. I can't really think of seeing something like that yet. We also got a book. Crew muster for the three I know, oh, we, already, we already did this one. And born of a chamber no, no, actually, we didn't do this one. Wit was brought up strictly. At the death of his tutor, he was free to study the alchemistic art. Clever with his fingers, he spent much time at the gaming table, ruining Redmond Barry at the game of piquet. An adventure with the Countess of O forced him to join the Navy. <laughs> he soon deserted his ship. His skill with cards gained him a reputation in Barbados where he met One-Eyed Jack. Their one and only game resulted in the massacre of Terra Nova. A friendship was born. DeWitt served Jack as both spy and poisoner, and served well. The Princess Isabelita Negroni called him the brightest star of my nights. Joined in 1715 as pharmacist. All right, the ship pharmacist loves to gamble. 
How is that going to help us? Well, you know, it's, it's useful information at some point. Uh, we learned a bit about the pharmacist. We also learned about if there is a chess puzzle. We got what it were to probably some hints. Some hints about what to do about the chess puzzle. But I don't think we've seen that yet. Now, downstairs, there is a puzzle with cards on the wall. And Stryker's diary did mention... It, it, did, it did say there was a hint regarding poker games. Um... But going through there is the problem, isn't it? Because I'm not going to live for very long if I go downstairs. Um, this is also another bathroom, I believe. Yeah, this was a bathroom. And I'm surprised that there doesn't seem to have been... Not finding anything in these bathrooms. I mean, I'm rubbing myself so hard in the bathroom. And just nothing. I mean, I could try to push. Is there anything we can push? kind of doubting it. I just fe I just think it's kind of odd that there wasn't anything at all seemingly in either of these bathrooms. Kind of an odd thing for this game cuz frequently like every room has something in it. <clears throat> Why wouldn't the bathrooms have anything in them? All right. There's downstairs. There's also like like something happening with the carpet here. I guess it doesn't happen when I'm standing here, but when I'm standing over here, yeah, there's an animation of something crawling through the carpet. I don't know if that's something I need to pay attention to, or if that's just, you know, flavor animations. Also, it doesn't seem like there's anything over on this side. Well, I could go downstairs again. There's this guy, who, I don't know if he's immortal, but I have the sword stick. It doesn't seem like he's getting hurt by it, so maybe he actually is immortal. If he is, the thing that we had to do was burn his immortality pact in front of him. But I don't have a lighter. Then again, it seemed like he was getting hurt by the gun. Or at least it was making him... It was making him back off a little bit. Uh, well, we found this thing in this room. I did not actually get a swing off with it. Not really sure how that guy works. Yep. 
Don't go. No, he's going back up. Hello. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Everyone's dressed so fancy. Oh, that made it. That hit. That hurt. That hurt him. Like, that is. For some reason, the sword doesn't. But he doesn't like getting smacked by this thing. Oh, okay. He's dead. Now we get a hook. Oh, we got, well, like, the hook we got at the end of the first game. Okay, so we're hearing pops. Those would be the gunshots coming from the next room. Now, let me, let me save the game. sort of a cable here. Can I cut that cable? I'm not sure what that animation was he was doing. He's just looking at it. And then nothing. No, I don't think we can cut that. All right, have we seen anything we might use the hook with? I don't know if the hook could be used with that, like, that box upstairs. I don't know if that would do anything. Now, we could go in this in the room with the shooting. We could do that. Let's see. There was this, uh... Yeah, this was the elevator. I didn't really... Oh, there's, like, a big, a big rat. I didn't actually get to check this room because that guy was alive at the time. So, let's do that now. Just rub ourselves all, all over the room. And see if there's anything to be... It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Also, I don't know if we can interact with that rat, but it doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you would do. I guess let's walk into this room where all of the gunmen are and see what happens. I mean, we know what's going to happen. Hi, guy. Do they notice me? No, they notice me. Okay, there's ammo for the riot gun. I hate it when I can't run when I want to run. I think I'm, I might be hitting the guy behind him, but not this guy. I might have just killed the guy behind him. Alright, this guy doesn't seem to be doing anything with this... With, he's not taking damage from the sword. There we go. Is, is his gun too long? Can he not shoot at close range? Because that's kind of funny if that's what's happening here. We can do it. We can do it. It can be done. That guy kind of just like... slides backwards when I hit him. I can't seem to really like get him stunned. Get him. Yeah, I mean, this seems to be working okay. 
I don't know. You know, it's really hard to say if something is considered to be the intended solution in this game. Wow, does that guy go down in one from the sword? We'll take the riot gun ammo. So I wonder if there are, I don't know, I wonder if there are enemies that are just weak to specific weapons. Or what? Because that, like, what the first guy, the big one, did not seem... I don't know, nothing, he didn't seem to be doing anything from the sword. I don't know what that was about. But then the paddle. The paddle got him. Alright. Jack of, I think, diamonds. It's low res, but I think diamonds. Then queen of clubs. King of spades. Ace of hearts. What's the fifth card? I, why can't I see a fifth card? Well, okay, I guess there's only four. One of each suit. And we, okay, so these are the targets. They were shooting. Do I have to shoot them? Or can I just, like, push them around? No, I guess I probably have to shoot them. I don't really want to use the ammo for that, but... I mean, I guess I have to. Wow. This paddle is ending up... It's, it's ending up to be quite useful. Quite useful. Hmm. Do they always go two spaces? Hi, guy. Hey. There is another room here. I should check it out. All right, that guy shot a block, and I think it only went one. I think the one he shot, it only turned once. So maybe if I have to turn it once, I have to shoot it? And maybe? What is this? I mean, this looks like an interactable. Don't have too much ammo left. Might as well drink up. Gump, 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 gump. Ah, that's better. Whiskey, yeah. What am I doing here again? I think it was something about like a little girl who needed rescuing. I'm just here because I enjoy killing pirates or. Zombies or ghosts or what? I don't know. Ooh, a book. I love books. And a second book? How? What have I done to be so fortunate? Well, I should probably save a game. You know, just in case one of these books kill me. With Q in hand. By the Honorable Senator Grant. All right, is this going to be about pool? As soon as I could, between two sessions, I would practice my skill with the two bands. I managed some splendid shots. But I was far from attaining my dream of potting three balls at the same time. The legendary shot. I leave that to the expert players of Mandarin, the game of Chinese billiards, at which I have never been more than a bumbler. I have enough trouble shooting two consecutive doubles, as I did during a very long game with Elisha Comstock. Yet I did see a ruffian by the name of DeWitt 
accomplish what I had thought was impossible. The fellow actually managed two triples before my eyes. From then on, I practiced feverishly, even renouncing <clears throat> alcohol and wine, which poisons the spirit sentries. Seven days later, the powdered rascal took three hundred dollars from me. I was so furious that I later refused to preside over the defense commission. With my gold in his pocket, he sneered at me. Senator, you would need many lives to beat me. I intended to challenge him to another match, but DeWitt disappeared completely. I was sickened. So downhearted was I that I gave up the game for three years, turning instead to casino gambling. My experiences in that field are described in my last book, The Jackpot I Nearly Won. Wow, what a page turner this is. This senator describing about how he just got beaten horribly it, and then he lost his money. Oh no. How how terrible. Now, this is talking about pool. So, I'm wondering, is was the guy I beat in the pool room, was that DeWitt? I don't, I don't know if it was. Maybe. And we got a second book here. Crew muster for the three master flying Dutchmen. Turn to freebooting December 25 of the year of our Lord, 1724. All right, give me the bio on another crew member. I'm in his free. Tom Flaherty is better known as T-Bone. He ran off after setting fire to Donovan's Inn and sailed the China Seas. At Yen Tai, he joined up with two sushi experts fascinated by gold. The Cookies. They were accused of raiding Madame Jojo's gambling house. Following a spectacular escape from the jail in Macau, these three men were taken on by Jack. By force of sneakiness, T-Bone got one arm out of his way and took his place as the Jolly Rogers cook. T-Bone is a master of the blowpipe and likes to leave his two mates to carve the meat. Join. 24 March. Cook. Well, T-Bone ran away from us pretty quick, assuming that the little cook we saw was T-Bone. He did not use his blowpipe on us. All right. Uh, let's look at these again. What happens if I just punch one? Uh, there we go. I mean, it turns twice, which is not what we need. It's not what we need. Uh, that one's right, I think. I think the second one is Queen of Clubs. Wait, what? Uh, sir. Have you just been hanging out here? I mean, I, I guess if you're okay, I guess if you're not okay with it, I guess I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, the second one is Clubs, third one is Spades. Uh, then spade. Yeah, okay. Don't want to turn that. The first and fourth I need to turn. Yeah, but they're going to turn twice. And we don't want that. So, let's see. Maybe get out the, the Derringer. And let me save a game. Before I use any ammo. That's not... The one I wanted to shoot. <laughs> the aiming in this game is so bad. Okay, that's hearts. Got 
Diamond. All right, Diamond, Club, Spade, Heart. Which matches it up here. Diamond Club, Spade, Heart. It was Sack. Hmm? Oh. I, ro I, I took his Sack and he's mad about that. All right. You know what that means? It means you get the paddle. And he's pretty fast with it. Alright, I was just shot a bunch of times. The only cure for that, of course, is boozing up. Gulp, 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 gulp. Ugh. That's better. Oh, what's a sack about? A Santa Claus suit. All right. Tis the season. Ho, 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 says Edward Carnby. You know, it's easy to be distracted by the Santa suit, but what is the deal with this card suit puzzle? Did I solve it? Do I, like, do something here? It doesn't seem like it can interact with this handle. It's... It, it's hard to say. All right. I don't know what the idea of the puzzle here was. There's also like a, um, like a pedestal. Do I need something for the pedestal, maybe? Well, I mean, I'm dressed as Santa Claus now. If I go upstairs, surely no one's gonna shoot me. Because everyone loves Santa. Oh, 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 every, oh, every, no, there's, they, no, there's, they're shooting Santa. They, they shot Santa. I can't believe my cunning plan didn't work. I can't believe it. Oh, ho, ho, spoosh. Well, that's probably enough for, uh, this, this session, tonight's session of Alone in the Dark 2. You know, some progress is made, but it's kind of hard to tell just what a, what kind of progress we're making. Um, huh. Well, we, uh, we, um, we, uh, we used a barrel to kill that one guy. We then killed the guy with the accordion with a paddle. We then killed two more guys in the room next to him. And then we, like, shot at and hit some targets to make them match the, the card suits on a wall. Um, I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. I kind of figured it was, but then when I made a match, they didn't actually do anything. So maybe that's not actually what the solution is supposed to be. And then there was just a guy there hanging out in his underwear, and then I killed him and took his Santa suit. Um, which maybe would be a disguise, but I was then killed instantly. I was killed instantly. Um, upstairs, I killed a guy in the pool room, and... Well, there was a... No, there was first a guy on the landing, then a guy in the pool room. Then I examined a couple of bathrooms, I examined a bedroom that had a couple of arms with swords, found some books, found some documents. Um... You know, some progress was made, but it's kind of hard to tell what exactly the progress was. 
Now, if the Santa suit is supposed to be a disguise, then maybe one possibility is that I was supposed to get that suit before I ever went upstairs. And then maybe, maybe T-Bone would not have sounded the alarm, because maybe he's a big Santa fan. That's possibility. I mean, if that's the case, it really wouldn't take long to redo that portion, if that's the case. Um, and maybe it is. I still don't really know the thing about the card suits. Gonna have to think about that one. Um... Oh, poor Striker, getting choked out by a clown. There's the milk. We, did, we have not encountered the clown ourselves as of yet. Or uh, this witch lady, neither. We're learning all about the crew of One-Eyed Jack's ship. Uh, we have not heard about this lady, I don't think. I don't think we have. So, we're going to continue on with Alone in the Dark 2 as Edward Carnby continues his odd adventure to rescue Grace, Grace Saunders.